Hey guys, if you're unknowingly being exposed to certain chemicals, you could be in danger because we're now learning more and more about certain chemicals that are closely linked with the development of leukemia. Leukemia is a type of cancer that affects the blood and bone marrow, the spongy tissue inside bones where blood cells are made. Leukemia it affects both children and adults, and while the exact causes of the disease are not fully understood, there are several risk factors that are associated with its development. Certainly, genetics plays a part, and some types of leukemia are caused by specific genetic mutations that can be inherited from a parent or acquired over the course of a person's lifetime. For example, with CML, chronic myelogenous leukemia, that's caused by a genetic mutation known as the Philadelphia chromosome, which is acquired during a person's lifetime. But one of the primary risk factors for leukemia is exposure to radiation or certain chemicals. This includes exposure to ionizing radiation, which is used in cancer treatments, as well as exposure to certain types of chemotherapy. And then there's exposure to everyday chemicals in the environment. While the causes of leukemia are complex and multifactorial, it's important to note that not everyone who is exposed to the risk factors will develop the disease. And similarly, not everyone who develops leukemia will have a clear cause or a clear risk factor associated with it. Acute myeloid leukemia, or AML, is more common in adults and is often associated with exposure to radiation or certain chemicals. Chronic lymphocytic leukemia, or CLL, is a type of leukemia that is more common in older adults and is often associated with genetic mutations. Exposure to certain chemicals has been associated with an increased risk of developing leukemia, and certain chemicals are more prone to developing it compared to others. One of the biggest culprits is benzene, which is a colorless, flammable liquid that is commonly used in the production of plastics, synthetic fibers, and other industrial products. It's also a component of gasoline and is found in cigarette smoke. Exposure to high levels of benzene can cause damage to the bone marrow in particular by causing genetic mutations there, leading to the development of leukemia. The risk of leukemia increases with both the duration and the level of exposure to benzene. Now another chemical is formaldehyde. It's another colorless gas, but with a nasty odor that is commonly used in the production of resins, plastics, and textiles. It's also used as a preservative in medical laboratories and mortuaries, which I'll never forget the stench of formaldehyde when I was in the anatomy lab in medical school, and I would walk out of there having my clothes, my scrubs that I was wearing, just, just filled with the stench of formaldehyde. But anyway, exposure to high levels of formaldehyde has been associated with an increased risk of leukemia, particularly myeloid leukemia. Then we have pesticides, which includes insecticides and herbicides, with a particularly high risk for people who work in agriculture or who live in areas with high levels of pesticide use. Then there are organic solvents such as benzene, toluene, and xylene, which are commonly used in the production of paints, adhesives, and other industrial products. Now, researchers are also investigating other potential causes, such as electromagnetic fields, which are a type of radiation that's emitted by electronic devices, such as cell phones, computers, and power lines. Now, while the evidence is not yet clear, some studies have suggested that exposure to these EMFs may be associated with an increased risk of leukemia, particularly in children. Obesity, lack of physical activity, and eating too much processed food has also been associated with cancer, including leukemia. Now, the exact mechanisms behind this association are still not fully understood, but it is widely believed that these lead to insulin resistance and chronic inflammation, which results in oxidative stress inside the cells, and that likely leads to genetic mutations, meaning cancer initiation, and then cancer promotion, which is where the cancer cells actually proliferate. Now, the best way to prevent cancer in general, and this likely applies to leukemia, is avoiding toxic chemicals and making sure that you eat healthy foods and get plenty of exercise. And there's also evidence that intermittent fasting is associated with a decreased cancer risk. Now, this video was mostly focused on chemicals that are considered to be the biggest culprits for developing leukemia or at least associated with it. But there are many other chemicals that we're exposed to on an everyday basis in our environment that put us at increased risk of cancer in general. And that's something that you can check out in more detail in this video right here.